Hello, grammar rock stars. You are almost all the way through unit one on the complete sentence. And today we're going to talk about compound elements in a complete sentence. In other words, what happens if you have more than one subject or predicate? Let's do a quick review. What is a complete sentence? A complete sentence is a group of words that contains a subject, typically a noun or a pronoun, a predicate, always a verb, and a complete thought, and then obviously a capital and end punctuation. Now, what is a compound? Well, let's first talk about what the word compound means. The word compound means more than one of something. Now, if you are into parkour, then it is possible that you understand this in terms of fractures. A compound fracture is a bone break where the bone actually breaks into more than one complete part. So a simple fracture means that you've broken your bone somewhere. Eh, no big deal. Now a compound fracture means that you are truly turbo. It means that you have broken your bone into two completely different parts. So remember the word compound means more than one of something like a compound fracture, more than one bone parts. Two complete bone parts is a compound fracture. All right, let's put that into grammatical terms. What if you have a sentence that contains more than one part? And in this case, we'll talk about a subject. Well, if you have more than one subject in a sentence, then you have a compound subject. So the word compound means more than one of something. So a compound subject means more than one subject. Let's look at a couple of examples. Mary, Terry, and Sherry ran to the store. You can tell by our color coding that our subject actually consists of three nouns, not one. Mary, Terry, and Sherry. That's called a compound subject. The next example, the mountains and the valleys are both beautiful. You have two subjects here, mountains and valleys. They are both in the state of being beautiful, so you've got a linking verb are there, but it's managing two subjects, so you would call that a compound subject. Okay, you can also have a sentence that contains more than one predicate. That's called a compound predicate. Because again, the word compound means more than one of something. So a compound predicate means more than one predicate. Let's look at a couple of examples. Terry ran and passed the baton. So you've got one subject, Terry, but Terry is doing more than one thing. Terry is running and passing. So that's a compound predicate. Now we have Bob. Bob's kind of pathetic. Bob went to the pool, but found no mail in his box after returning home. Sad. So here we have Bob, one guy who's doing two things. He went to the pool, but he found no mail in this case in his box when he arrived home. One guy doing two things means that you have a compound predicate. Now, what if you actually have two complete sentences that are combined correctly? Well, y'all, that is called a compound sentence. So a compound means more than one of something, and a compound sentence means that you have more than one sentence written correctly. So here's the full definition of compound sentence, which, by the way, you will need to know for the remainder of the year. A compound sentence is two complete sentences written correctly as one sentence and separated with a semicolon or a comma and a coordinating conjunction. Let's take a look at those. So here are some examples of compound sentences. The grass grew too slowly, comma, so the rancher fed it fertilizer. Or you can say, the student worked all night, semicolon. The paper seemed to write itself. Now, if you remember from our fragments and run-on screencast, then you remember that a comma and a coordinating conjunction is one way to fix a run-on sentence, right? So that's why I've put that picture of the Wonder Twins there, because the Wonder Twins serve as the dividers that make this a correct sentence. Your comma is one twin, your conjunction is another twin, and together they can separate these two ideas so that the sentence is correct and it is called a compound sentence. The next example is the student worked all night, semicolon, the paper seemed to write itself. And if you remember, a semicolon is the Aquaman or the semi-cool way to separate two complete ideas so that you don't have a run on. Remember, the idea of a semicolon is that if you want to show as a writer that the two sentences you are separating are very closely connected, you would choose a semicolon instead of a period, for example. And then a question I would ask y'all is, 
why isn't there a sentence with a Superman? So if we're talking about com compound sentences, how come there is no Superman example here? This is worth a bonus point if you can answer it in your notes. Okay, so let's just talk quickly about the difference between a compound sentence and a run-on sentence. The only difference is that a compound sentence is written correctly because of how it's separated. And a run-on sentence means that it has been written incorrectly because of how those two sentences are separated. So if we look at the definition of a compound sentence, a compound sentence is two sentences written correctly as one sentence because they're separated with either a semicolon or a comma and a conjunction. Whereas a run-on sentence is two sentences written incorrectly as one sentence and separated with either a comma or no punctuation at all. Using some examples, you can say the chair's leg cracked noisily, so the Great Dane jumped down. That is a wonder twin separation. It is a comma and a conjunction. That makes this a correctly written compound sentence. The example as a run-on is the chair's leg cracked noisily, comma, the Great Dane jumped down. The comma, remember, isn't strong enough to separate two complete ideas. And so it creates a run-on sentence, which is a mistake in writing. And if you make that mistake, you are going to make your reader think that you are less smart. You want to avoid that. So all you need to do is put a conjunction next to that comma and you are all set. Okay, jot these examples down in your notes. And all you're gonna do is you are trying to find the compound elements. So if your compound element is a subject, then all you need to do is underline your subject once and off to the side, write compound subject. If your compound element is a predicate, you'll underline each of your predicates twice and off to the side, write compound predicate. If you have a full compound sentence, what you'll want to do is put a box around either your comma and coordinating conjunction or your semicolon to show that that is accurately or appropriately separating your two complete sentences to make them into one correct compound sentence. And by the way, there is a component on this exercise where you are going to learn that you can have a simple sentence, which is just one complete thought that contains a compound subject and a compound predicate. See if you can find that one and we'll talk about it in class.